Let's do this, man. Hey, that's empty. I saw that. Smooth stuff, huh? Aren't you lightweight? Place, but, nah, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and right. people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. He's full of communists. It's awful there. Yeah. There's no food, and we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Are you telling me that it's Here perhaps, goes, you know, you've been wronged, or perhaps you're talking about propaganda, or s somehow that not all communists so act the same way? Oh. Yes. Our life is a ah. bit strict. One party, one leader, <coughs> one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. Well. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Well, if communism works, and it works well, I guess. Ooh, uh, where was I? Uh, um. Yes. Yes, look look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other, sell their kids at slaves, it's like the stone age. Death to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? War there, war there is all that matters. That's that's our salvation. So you can believe uh. whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order, William. Yeah, um, I do appreciate the whole rescue thing, but the communism uh, thing, Arthur, not my thing. Just saying. I'm a democracy man myself. Or perhaps dictatorship. But no Nazis. So, my friend. Uh, um. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. I knew it! Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. You louse! It was empty all along. Oh, Pav, you fucker. Welcome back, Comrade Major. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait, and we'll get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Because he's a shitbag. Yeah. I take it all back. Hey, stop that, Blech. He's just being over enthusiastic, you know. Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Like I said, in universe, the communists and the Nazis are both assholes. Assholes. At ease, Tavarish. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Yep. What about Comrade Korb? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Oh, okay. Crap. Things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Artyom. Yeah, I'll piss off. So you you bold ape. No such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Yo, yeah, Pav, I'm gonna slice your balls off, worry, mate. I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us. Oh, this is going to go swimmingly, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, I don't think I can shoot my way out of this station, at the very least. Oh, this looks like a head asshole. Hello. Wow. Good day, Comrade General. He's even got a red eye. That's impressive. I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was beginning to think I wish he hadn't. Comrade Corbett, this stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky, one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. 
Um, Take the comrade to the negotiation room. The negotiation room. That sounds wonderful. Dicks. Well, shit. This is going well. Young man, let's dispense with the introductory probing. And oh, good. This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of um. extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. <laughs> but, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Can I Second say, General, I don't like the negotiation room. Gorbut, I need a moment. Wow, that guy looks what really evil. Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunya must start learning how to improve his uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were. Da, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Uh oh. Please don't punch Faster me. And more effective. If you are going to punch me, please not the face. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of D6. Anyone ever tell you you look like a fat Hitler? Seriously. Ow! Still nothing, huh? Please, not the face. Um. Ooh, pigs. Passwords, code names, operation protocol. What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Fat Hitler. Business is usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? They're called action men. Jeez. You little shit. There's no power without blood. There I is. Your brother ruled peacefully. And they still love him. Get back here! God damn it! Alright. Use your drugs. Um. Use hot pokers. Uh. Just get everything out of him and shoot the bastards. Then come to my office. We must talk. I don't like the negotiation room. Can I go to the interrogation room, please? It sounds nicer. Oh, I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. Um, I believe in science. Not the penis, please? One injection and you will tell us everything. Uh. What is this, some sort of magical injection? Ooh, this is pretty gnarly. Um. Goddamn stock kid sounds. The st that's stock kid sounds and stock reloading sounds. Damn it, you Metro people, stop being so lazy. Aw, oh, they're here to play. They look friendly. Um. Whoa! Wow. Dark one don't take no shit. He's like, check out my booty! <laughs> so, if that was a flashback perhaps to Artyom's childhood, then he was rescued by a dark one. Or this I could just be anything. to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the dark one? The creature um. has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Venice sounds nice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Oh, so it's okay if I disappoint. No, I take it I'm not on the payroll, anyway. Fuck Corbett. Fuck my father. And ah. Joseph. And the revolution and my own future. I'd rather be shot and end up like father. That's good. Can you brother. let me out? Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live. I, I appreciate that, my friend. Um. Here. Get in there. This is the way to freedom. Get where? Me. I know. <laughs> oh. I oh, tunnel. I spent hiding from my father in those vents. You don't happen to have any weapons on you, do you? I, I kind of lost mine. Oh, God damn it! I paid for my weapon. Good luck to you. Man. Son of a bitch, I just upgraded all my shit. I hope those upgrades stay. I imagine they do, that'd be kind of mean otherwise. Ooh, glowing snot. It's always a good place to start. Well, 
well as far as things could have gone. That was pretty bad. Let's talk about the negotiations in Polis. Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Could have fooled me. Why did you let the information leak? Damn the refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Oh, good. Inevitable. I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Stupid yes, Hitler. but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? I'm... Moscovin, when you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. You know what reminds me of? Stand together, arms linked against the wind. Dark corners of the earth, you know? Man for himself. It's that scene where I'm in the vent, watching the two fight. Is this whole fucking metal truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? Alright. Go do your trick. I'll handle the police bureau. Well... Oh, they could probably just see- Look how evil that man is! Yeah, well... Cuts. One of these days. Yeah, well, see you later, fat Hitler. A frontal assault is hopeless, well, but if we go underground with the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention, Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task. And you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret. Whoa. And you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned ducts? Only in case of emergency. And on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway. The enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counter-offensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace well, of operation. Jesus. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Are the questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck, then. Serve Serve it. It. Ah, it's good, to, it's good to know that these guys are both balanced and sensible individuals. Like I said, it'd be bad if I mocked the communists in these sort of games for being, like, unreasonable jackasses. Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target. Good, let's go duff Pavel up. And that'll be for next time, so I hope you enjoyed the set. We've got quite a long way, and uh, we even watched a theatre show. I liked that theatre show. It had an animal in it. I'm not entirely sure what that animal was. It's one of those sort of weird, ratty, polar bear, monster, spider, evil super monsters outside. But it was a good show. I enjoyed it. So anyway, next time, more historically accurate Metro. Thank you very much for watching. Until then.